So with my final graphic, I, I want to answer the question, so what is this ribbon uh, and what does it mean? Uh, unfortunately, I can't answer that question because we don't know what this ribbon really is. We know some interesting things about it, though. Um, as soon as we saw this, and you know, we're building up the sky maps week by week, and we see this bright thing, like, wow, what's that? You know, and it goes around, and it starts to wind up, and holy moly. So as we're looking at that, and as it's building up, people start to say, what could it be? What could it correlate with? And we pretty quickly realized that the external magnetic field in the galaxy, the local part of the galaxy, uh, what's called the, uh, the local interstellar magnetic field, was oriented in just such a way that it seemed to organize th these data and, and, and correlate with the ribbon. And in the graphic that we've put up here, you can see the, the uh, sort of a picture from the outside looking in. We've painted the ribbon and the, and the particle fluxes on this uh, boundary of the heliosphere. And then we've put in the, 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 the expected orientation of the external magnetic field. And you can sort of think of that external magnetic field like a bunch of bungee cords. If you're pushing a beach ball through bungee cords, it kind of drapes around and pushes in on the beach ball, but it also, it also changes the shape of the bungee cords. And that's sort of what magnetic field lines are like. And so what you see here is the external magnetic field pushing in in the southern hemisphere, of the, of the heliosphere, and also pushing in and squeezing it from the sides. And just exactly where it's most bent and most draped around the outside is exactly where the ribbon is lying. Really a remarkable correlation and, and almost surely telling us that somehow this external magnetic field is really dominant, is playing a do another dominant role in the interaction. But we don't understand the physical connection. We don't know why having an external field that, that drapes around that way and pushes on the outer boundary that way really produces these 200, 300 percent higher fluxes than the surrounding regions. And that's a, a really exciting and interesting part where we now have to go back and try to figure out what physics we're missing uh, in all our models and understanding.